So guys, I got a chance to try this secret sampling plugin by Audio Labs. Let's check it out together. So guys, this is very interesting because I got a chance to try this alpha version of a secret project by Audio Lab. Now, if you guys don't know who Audio Labs are, they are pretty new in the game in terms of music production softwares, and they are known for their software called Emergent Drums. Now, Emergent Drums is an AI-based software that can generate any kind of drum sample to your taste. Now, if you guys want to try that out, you guys can hit the link in the description below. Otherwise, we are here to talk about the secret project by Audio Lab. Once again, this is called the Deep Sampler. So the Deep Sampler basically allows you to generate unique variations of sounds from your drums or any other samples that you load up in it. Well, this is just the very early stages of the software. Let's just have a look at it in the browser right away. Let's go. All right, so here we are. I'm on the Deep Sampler page by Audio Lab. And on the left here is a app called Splice. And I am just gonna download one of the snare. So I've actually downloaded this one. Let's hear how it sounds, yeah? Okay, okay. So I'm gonna drag this into here. In the Deep Sampler Alpha program, you guys can actually test it using the quick record mic from your computer mic or any of your audio interface mic. Otherwise, you can also drag samples into here for you to generate different variations of the sample. What we have here below, we have the variation slider. Right now, it's at 0. 1%. Basically, I think this means that if you really want to deviate away from your sample, you can go up to 1. If you want it to be as close to the sample, you can put it maybe back at 0 0.1. Let's, let's test at 0 0.1 right now. Okay, so it's generating variations. Let's see how it sounds. Is it really good or not? Now, we have these samples. I'm not too sure what these colors stand for. Maybe it's just to differentiate the different kind of samples that it generates from this source sample itself. So let's test the blue one. Ooh. Where did you get the end tail of this, huh? This one? Ah, this is a lot more wet. It's like it slaps and it sucks you in, huh? Let's test this one. Oh, a bit more tight. I think it's similar, right? Hmm. It's a little bit more darker in terms of the sound. Okay, this is pretty similar. And let's try it in the midway. So let's put it at maybe 0.5 and let's regenerate it 10 hours later. All right, so let's listen to this generation. Blue one. Oh, sounds like a tom now instead of a snare. What, why do they have to suck it every time? The green one? It's another tom. It's a brighter tom. I think it's pretty interesting the fact that they used the wave sample to actually make another kind of drum sound. So from a snare, you can actually get a tom. Now let's do the one final test over here uh, based on this sample. Let's do at one and let's generate. Okay, before I even play any of them, the green one looks really weird. I guess this is pretty interesting. Let's try it. Okay, that's another tom. Let's leave the green one for the last. Let's try the pink one. Are you hitting on a drum can? Okay, okay, interesting. Oh, this one becomes a crash. It alters the sound to be something else. This is from a snare, you get like a tom. You get like a tin can kind of sound and then a crash. And what's this? Let's check it out. What? What did I just hear? Yo, Deep Sampler, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> From a snare to this. White noise. It's really, really interesting. Now let's, let's try generating it again because this is just one set of generation. Let's try it again. So the pink one looks pretty interesting, do you guys think? Let's go for the blue. Another tom. Mm, that's like a close filter for a crash. Another tom and this one. Oh, it makes a laser noise now. <laughs> Interesting. So from this to this. You know what? The best part about this is all these samples, you can actually download them. You can save them for me at least in the alpha program under the same account. And I can download them and use them in my production if I really like. So it's really for those who like to experiment with sound. So we've tried the sound with a very strong transient like a snare. Let's go for the melody. Let's find something in splice. Anyway, it's just a test, right? Let's try this. Yeah, 
let's drag it in. Now, the bad thing about this deep sampler is I can't pause the playing of this sample. And because the sample is pretty complex here with a lot of uh, tones and overtones, undertones, when I click generate, it's taking some time. I guess we are really fighting with the AI. <laughs> You know what, I'm just gonna give it a chance. I won't do anything too complex to this alpha program for Deep Sampler. Let's try something else. Okay, let's try this Buzz Lightyear sound. Mm, okay, so with a complex sound like the laser, even though it's just a one shot, it takes a while for it to generate. Let's hear it, the soft sound again. Okay, let's go the first one, the blue one. Mm. Yeah, similar. At 0.5 variation, it's really very similar. It's just like a filtered out, low pass filter kind of laser sound. Let's try to variation of one and let's generate it again. This one's pretty interesting. So the blue one and the yellow one is really off the hook. Uh, let's play the green one, which is as close to the sample as we get. What? They might just take a sample from somewhere, but if they are changing this laser sound to this. Wow. Let's try the pink one. Wow, very short and sweet, huh? Okay, let's try this blue one. Another white noise. Another white noise, guys. And this one, the yellow one. Another white noise. <laughs> so I believe that this deep sampler still has a little bit of limitation in terms of the genres that they are or the samples that they are generating because some of it appears to be just white noise which I think it's not fair for someone to be paying this a lot in the future and just getting white noise out of a laser, right? But I think they do going to make some improvements to this uh, software itself. So yeah, let's hope for the best for Deep Sampler then. Well, here's my thoughts on trying Deep Sampler project by Audio Labs. First thing is it's done by AI. So the sounds that you really want might not come to you because it's really generated randomly or as close to the samples that you put into the system itself. Because of that, you might want to expand yourself as a producer and probably want to experiment with the sounds that they give. That will be a plus point. But if you really want to find the sounds that you really, really want, this is going to be a little bit hard. Well, there's the pros and cons of that. Now, second thing is AI-based platforms like Deep Sample Plugin for this instance is going to make subscription-based platforms like Splice obsolete in the long run. Don't you agree? The third thing is with AI analyzing your sample and altering your samples into new unique sounds for each user using the software itself, you don't have to worry anymore about copyright issues when it comes to sample clearances. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments about the Deep Sample plugin and hopefully they will release a better version from this alpha version that we've just seen. Now, I hope you guys really enjoyed my video. If you really like this video, smash that like button and remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell button. I'm Vibe Synthetic once again. It's been a pleasure to be here to talk to you guys about the secret project by Audio Labs. You guys can try some of their plugins like the Image and Drums link in my description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys on the next one. It's been a good one. Peace.